Hey guys, today we are going to be going over cross cuts of the kidneys. Um, there's a couple different approaches and I wanted to explain the different views you're going to get depending on what approach you go through and what scanning plane you're in. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we have three kidneys, even though we know that that's normally not true. So I'm going to set one kidney to the side, but I want to go through and explain sagittal cuts, um, coronal, um, <clears throat> I should say sagittal anterior to posterior cuts versus sagittal coronal cuts, as well as transverse cuts of the kidney. Um, so before we start, let's go over some information on what we know. We know that we have our renal artery and our renal veins. Um, the renal artery, the right renal artery, is going to be a little longer than the left, um, as well as the left renal vein is going to be a little longer than the right, and that's just due to the proximity. So again, if we think of the body, that left renal vein is going to be longer because it has to course um, over the aorta and anterior to the SMA. And then our right renal vein is going to be, actually this is going to be posterior to the IVC, so that was on me. There we go. It's going to be posterior to the IVC. Um, and again, it's going to be a little longer than the left renal artery. Um, with that right renal artery, don't forget sometimes we get it mixed up with the right diaphragmatic cruise. It lies on that same side, also posterior to the IVC. All right, so when we go through, I'm going to set this one to the side. Um, First things first, we think of the right kidney versus the left kidney. The right kidney is typically a little lower. Do we know why? Does, why does the right kidney typically lie a little lower in the body versus the left kidney? So usually when you see somebody in the abdomen, it lies like this. Now, if you said because of the liver, the liver actually will push the right kidney inferiorly. That is correct. So um, I just want to show how everything overlies in the body, again, with the kidneys. So if we drop these up right here. And we're going to move the left kidney and the aorta and IVC out of the way um, for this purpose. So we're just going to go through and do cross cuts. So I made the kidneys a little bit smaller, um, and they might not be perfect because I had to put the sinus inside, and I'm not quite sure how that's going to look. But the last couple times it turned out pretty good, so we'll start. So um, we'll imagine that we'll do the right kidney, um, this is our little right kidney of the body. We will do this in a anterior to posterior approach, which means that we're going to be coming from the patient's anterior and um, scanning towards the posterior versus a coronal cut where we would go from lateral to medial. So when we're going through, the first thing we want to do <clears throat> um, in the sagittal cuts, we have three different sagittal cuts. We have our lateral sagittal cut. We have our mid sagittal cut, and I'm just going to do all three at once and then explain each. And then we have our medial sagittal cut. And again, with this, it's going to be very, very. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So we'll start with our, I'm going to put it all back together. So we'll start with our lateral sagittal cut. Now, lateral um, to the kidney is also lateral in the body. I know with some organs that's not necessarily the case, but when we go through, we cut on the lateral portion. So where the hilum is of the kidney, it's going to be, I'll take this out. Where the hilum is of the kidney, it's going to be more medial in the body. And again, that's the portion where the renal veins and arteries are going to come out of um, and course towards the IVC and aorta in the body. So the lateral portion will be lateral not only to the organ, but lateral in the body. Um, and this is going to have like a convex appearance where the hilum will have a concaved appearance. So then we'll move this out of the way. When we do our first lateral cut, we chopped it up. What you're going to see on the screen, and there's a little more sinus in here than I would have liked with it, but what you typically will see on the screen is a nice little short, small circular cut. And again, this is a lot more sinus. Usually with the sinus, it's going to be a little more, um, a little less sinus in here than we'd have. Um, the pink is going to be the sinus, whereas the purple is going to be the cortex uh, for this purpose. So when we're cutting through the lateral portion, you're just going to have like a little oval, uh, ovoid projection, ovoid shape um, cut of the organ, which will typically look like, it's getting a lot like this. Um, you won't see any sort of um, vasculature, really nothing um, too much to notate as far as uh, sonographic landmarks will go. So most of the time, honestly, you'll see it and it'll look like this with a very small amount of pink in the middle um, or white in the middle, I guess, as we're seeing on the screen because we know that the sinus is much more echogenic than the cortex. But again, it's just going to be like a little ovoid portion um, with very little sinus in it, mostly cortex. So again, it's going to look like this, but with far less sinus in it. 
And again, that's where if we go through and we cut, we're just gonna be cutting on this very lateral portion, essentially right from here to here. So this very lateral cut, because we know that the sinus is gonna be internal um, in the actual organ. So when we cut here, you have to think if we have a nice thick cortex, we're only gonna be slicing the very edge of it, which would make us only have a cortex, maybe minimal sinus cut. Now, when we go through and we do our mid cut, right down the middle of the kidney, now, when we do our mid-cut, the mid-cut is going to actually be the longest point of the kidney. So what you would like to do, um, ideally, is go through and elongate the kidney. Um, and then, again, we're going to have our nice long cut. And with this, what we will typically see, and I'm trying to fluff it back up because I smashed it a little. What you'll typically see on the screen is a nice cut like this. So it'll be a nice, complete kidney with the complete uh, cortex on the outline, um, a nice big portion of the sinus in the middle. Um, and again, the sinus is usually going to be a little more hypercoat, but you're going to have a nice big piece of it. And then from here, from, which again, we're going to be in sagittal, so this would be the what direction? This would be the inferior pole of the kidney. So the inferior pole to the superior pole, we want to get our longest cut possible, and it's just going to have this nice little elongated ovoid shape. And the reason we do that and we get it nice and elongated is actually for measurement purposes. Give me one second, I'm losing my phone. Um, it's actually for measurement purposes of the kidneys. So um, we go through, a lot of pathologies are demonstrated via the measuring. Um, we wanna make sure that the left kidney and the right kidney are within one centimeter of each other, typically. Um, one kidney may be a little bit bigger, that's okay. Um, but again, we wanna get that nice long axis from the superior pole to inferior pole in this nice long cross cut just so we can go through and measure it. Um, and again, with that, it's to do for comparison purposes. So we wanna make sure it's that's at longest because if we do do follow-up exams, we wanna make sure we have an accurate measurement to compare the next scan to or even the um, contralateral kidney to. So finally, our last cut is gonna be the medial portion. So the medial portion of our kidney is again gonna be medial to the organ as well as the body. So it's gonna be this nice concave portion. And essentially what we're gonna do before we cut is we're gonna cut right through here, just like this. So as you can see here, that might mean we may lose a little bit of the um, contact or the, the area between the two different portions of the cortex, and that's okay. So do our little cut, I already did it. So again, what you'll typically see is something very similar to this. And I'm gonna hold it up um, without the glue as well. So again, what we're gonna see, we're going through, we're gonna have a nice little medial portion. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lose a little bit of this portion right in here um, where the actual cortex will have a break in it. And the reason, again, it, because of that is because we lose contact in this, um, I don't wanna say contact, but we lose the actual organ in between this area. So you're gonna have a nice little break in this. Um, I actually think the way that this looks on the screen is a little more like this. Let me just fluff it back up a little. There we go. So you're gonna see a nice little cut like this. And again, um, we're going from medi or from anterior to posterior. So when we get that cut, you're just gonna be losing this little portion here when we cut straight back. So again, if we take this, this is typically what you're gonna see on your screen. And again, we're going from, it'll, it'll lay like this on the screen because we're in a sagittal plane. So we'll be going from superior to inferior on this kidney. And again, that's where you'll see a nice little break in the cortex. And what that basically means is that cortex that goes around the whole outside of the kidney will have a nice little break in between where the hilum comes in, um, the, the hilum of the organ is. And that's where the vessels and the arteries are gonna go through and enter the organ, which is why that little opening is even there to begin with. So again, that's our sagittal cuts. We'll go through them one more time. We have a lateral portion, and I'm just gonna hold it up. Imagine the little ultrasound screen. So we have a lateral portion, and again, I feel like it looks more like this typically with a very little sinus in between, but I just wanna show you guys that you will see a little bit of silent, uh, sinus along the center portion, um, and then have a nice clean ovoid piece. Whereas the mid portion, you're gonna have a lot more sinus in it. It's gonna be a little bit longer, um, still really oval, um, but again, you're gonna have it where it's gonna be at your longest axis for the uh, mid measurement um, and mid image. And then our medial portion is where you'll have that nice little break in the actual cortex. You'll still see a little bit of sinus, but what we look for in the medial portion is that break in the sinus. And again, that's just because when we're going and we're scanning this way, so that's when we're scanning this way, lateral, just a nice little portion, mid, right in the middle, 
and then we do that medial, we're gonna lose a little bit of that portion right through here. So um, that's where you get that break in the cortex, so that's normal. So those are the sagittal anterior to posterior um, approaches. Now we're gonna talk about coronal as well because I know that that gets confusing. Um, with coronal, there isn't really an lateral, uh, a lateral mid and medial cut. Um, there's still gonna be a mid cut, but you have to think our approach is different. Rather than coming from directly from the front, we're gonna actually be coming from the sides for a coronal approach. Because again, coronal means we're going from lateral to medial. So when we go through, I'm gonna just do a little, little cut. We'll do anterior. It's gonna look very similar um, as far as what you see. However, um, the sizes will be a little bit different and you will get portions. There we go. So we will start, and I'm gonna put my kidney back together, just do my little cuts now. So, okay, I got my little kidney back together, little bean. So again, if we're doing it, first cut we're gonna do is gonna be an anterior cut. So if I take off this anterior layer, I'm gonna flip it over. This is what you're gonna see on the screen. Um, very similar to the lateral cut, again, because we're just getting a nice little slice of that uh, sinus, we're not getting a lot. Um, typically here, you're gonna have a little bit more of the cortex, but right through here, you will see cortex with a little bit of sinus, as you see in this little cut here. So again, when you see it on the screen, it's just gonna be a little tiny cut like this. And again, we're going coronally, so this is gonna be the lateral cut, or um, I'm sorry, the anterior cut, because we're um, coming from a lateral to medial approach. So if we're scanning, this would be our lateral, and this would be our medial. So we have that, again, still concaved portion on the medial aspect, because again, if we turn our kidney sideways, or it will lay in the body just like we're cutting it, that's what you're gonna typically see. So again, it's gonna be very similar as far as looks go to the lateral cut, but it's gonna have a different shape, whereas a lateral cut is definitely more oval, and this has a nice little bean shape to it because we're actually gonna be able to visualize that bean shape because of the slices that we're coming in at. So we're gonna be coming in this way, so we'll have a bunch of little shapes like this versus lateral, where we'll have, or uh, versus anterior to posterior, where we're gonna have a bunch of oval shapes like this. So move past the... There we go. So again, we take off that lateral portion. That I'm sorry, that coming from coronal, we'll take off that anterior portion. And then the anterior, um, after we do the anterior cut, what we're gonna do is look at it in a sagittal coronal cut. And again, we're gonna come through coronally and what we'll have is a nice big mid cut. So when we do the mid cut, chop it out, what we'll have, same thing on the screen, we're gonna be coming in from lateral to medial and then we're gonna have these uh, superior and inferior aspects. So on the screen, what you'll get is something like this. And again, it's a mid cut, so it's gonna be very, very similar to the mid cut we took on the right side. Um, you're gonna have, again, a little bit of a concaved portion right here, um, not so much noted, but you'll have a little bit of that concave portion um, because again, we're gonna be coming through and just chopping it right down the middle. So when we get our image, it will be a little bit concave. It's Play-Doh, so it got smushed when I, um, when I chopped it, but again, it'll look very, very similar to this when we're going through. And again, the goal of the mid cut is to get it as long as possible and get right in that, the middle of that organ. So again, right down the middle, that's gonna be our coronal mid cut. And now you think about the very last portion, which is gonna be, we have our, again, it's gonna look very similar here just because where I cut off, but if we take our posterior cut, it's gonna look very similar to our anterior cut. And that's again, because if we go through, we flip this side versus this side. They're very, very similar with um, the way it's set up. Really, you're gonna get the, the more differentiation between the slices from an anterior and posterior approach. But again, you're gonna see this little portion on the screen. You'll see vessels coming out here, a little indentation, and that's gonna be the hilum of the kidney. <clears throat> so we'll go through it one more time with it. Should have separated my pieces a little bit better. So again, lateral anterior cut, lateral approach, lateral to medial approach, anterior uh, cut, you're gonna have a little bit of a concave portion, very minimal sinus, good amount of cortex with it. That mid cut, it's gonna be very similar, there we go. Nice little long portion, may possibly have, and it'll look like this on the screen, may possibly have a little um, break in the cortex here, and again, they have to think of where the actual vasculature lies, and we'll just use one for this purpose, but this is why 
it's because that hilum is right where all those organs or all those vessels are coming in and out of. So it's a nice little uh, indentation, nice little hole essentially for them to go in and out of. And then we're going to have our posterior cut, which is going to be very, very similar. Um, and again, that's just going to be the back portion. So if we layer them all together, we'll have our little kidney. So again, anterior, it's going to look just like this. Our anterior cut on the screen with the little concave portion. Mid cut, it's going to look just like this. Again, a little break right there in the hilum possibly. And then our posterior cut very same thing. Um, you may or may not get that indentation. Um, I don't know, the break in the cortex with that, and that's okay too. But again, it's just a different approach. And with it, if we're scanning from medial to lateral, this is what we'll see on our screen. We'll see medial on top, or lateral, I'm sorry, if you're scanning from lateral to medial, you'll see lateral on the top portion of the screen, and then medial on the bottom portion of the screen, and that would make this portion, give you a second to think about it. Again, we're in a sagittal plane. This portion of the screen would be superior and this portion would be inferior. So last thing we're gonna do is show the cross cut, the transverse cuts of the kidney. So I'm gonna do the same thing that we've done. I'm just gonna chop the kidney right down the middle. And then we have a couple different sectional cuts that we do. And we'll get into them a little more when we get into abdomen. I just want you to understand the concept at this point. This one's gonna turn out nice. So. Typically, when we scan the kidney in a transverse plane, what we do is we will go through and get um, a superior cut with cortex and without, um, with just cortex and with sinus, we'll do a mid cut. Um, and again, that's gonna be where we get it uh, rounded out like a little C shape. And then we'll do an inferior, two inferior cuts that are gonna be very mirrored to the superior cuts. We're gonna get a portion uh, with just cortex or very minimal sinus, and then we'll get like a nice circular cut with um with sinus in it so again here's our kidney and this is what we're essentially doing I, I like this one i think this makes it a little easier when i can show it this way this is um this is essentially what we're doing when we're going through with our ultrasound probe and we're scanning we're just going through and taking little cross-sectional cuts so the first cut we're going to see is that superior cut now we said it before um superior cortex only will be the first picture so if i take off my little so again, nice circular um, slash oval shape with no sinus in it. Um, if we do get sinus, it's typically very, very minimum. Um, and this is our, our first transverse superior cut of the kidney. So it'll look just like this on the screen. Nice little portion with just cortex. Now our next cut is going to be in the superior portion as well. However, um, again, we're gonna be moving down and as we move down, um, it was, we move inferiorly, we start to get into more of that sinus portion where the sinus becomes a little thicker. So rather than just having this, this will be what your next uh, little portion will look like. Um, it's not perfect because it's made with Play-Doh, but typically what you'll see is the sinus in the center portion um, and then a nice ring of cortex around it. The cortex should be pretty even on like my Play-Doh model. Um, but again, typically it'll be a little nice thick ring of uh, cortex all the way around it, and it's gonna be circular. Um, and I keep reiterating that because when we start getting into the mid portion, we're gonna have a little less of a circular cut. So again, superior no cortex, or superior, superior cortex only, superior with sinus. So we put those right on top of each other, and we get the superior portion of the kidney. So again, we're just going through making nice little um, cross cuts in the kidney. Now, if we go through, our next little cut will be our C-shape, our C-shaped portion of the kidney, the mid portion. So here we have the little break in the cortex, which is hard for me to go through and demonstrate. We'll just pull this out, there we go. I smashed them when we cut them. So again, we get that little C portion of the kidney. Um, this portion here, why do we have this break in the cortex here? What's happening here? I've explained this in the last two. I'll give you a second. If you said that's the hilum, where the vessels enter and exit, you are correct. That is why this opening is here. So when you're getting this nice little cross cut, you're gonna see vessels coming out of here. So it will look very, very similar to this. Probably a little more like this. There we go, since they start branching off. Um, and again, you're gonna get those cross, um, cross cut of those vessels coming in and out, the right renal, or um, well, I guess depending whatever renal you're on, the renal artery and ve renal vein will be coming out right here. So you should see them as well, which is a nice good indicator that you're in the mid portion. Um, so again, things that you wanna see sonographically when you're in that mid cut are gonna be 
the break in the hilum where the vessels enter and exit, and a nice, really pretty round C shape. Um, and you should be able to get that pretty easily. So cut that off. Again, we have another little midsection. And we move down to our inferior pole, and this will be our first cut in the inferior pole. Again, it should look a little more like this, but very, very similar to our second cut in the superior pole. Um, very oval, you're gonna have a decent amount of or a sinus in the middle, but overall you should see a nice ring of cortex all the way around the outside. So again, very, very similar to our second superior cut. Um, when we move down just out of mid, you'll see a nice round cut with the sinus in the middle and that'll be our inferior cut um, with the sinus. And then our final cut, Again, this is where the variations kind of lie. So you may see um, the cut, the most superior, most inferior cut without sinus, or you may see it with just like a tiny bit of sinus in it. Um, ideally, we do like to get it where there's no sinus in the picture. However, um, some people just have sinuses that go superior to inferior and have portions that just branch all the way out. So if you do get a little bit of sinus in here, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> but ideally, you want it to be a much less cut than this here, which clearly in this, it, it very much is. So again, put it right here. This is our little superior to inferior cut. So again, this is our superior inferior cut and this is our inferior inferior cut. So we break them out and there we go. So again, typically um, our second cut, our, our, our cut that's a little higher in the superior aspect is gonna have more sinus where uh, the very inferior portion, I'm sorry, the inferior portion should have um, very little sinus um, with, with a good portion of cortex in it or no sinus whatsoever. So again, if we're going through and we think about our kidney, put it all back together again. This is the good thing about Play-Doh, we can put it all back together again. <laughs> so we got our little kidney all back together again. And I guess it doesn't really matter because our cuts are gonna be very similar, but I started this way, so I'm gonna finish this way. So again, first superior cut, no sinus or very little sinus, um, mostly circular, somewhat ovoid shape. Our next cut, our next superior, again, this is still superior, we're still superior because this is gonna be that mid cut right there. Um, so again, very ovoid, you're gonna have cortex going around the entire outside, and then you'll have a little bit more sinus in the actual center. And then our mid cut is gonna be that nice pretty C shape um, where you're gonna have that break in the hilum um, to the, and it's gonna be medial. So wherever your medial portion is, if you're coming from anterior to posterior, the medial portion will be, um, you'll have to physically move there. Uh, if you're in the transverse, I guess you realistically won't. So the medial portion will be on whatever side of the screen that, um, that, that you're scanning. So if you're scanning, like let's say you're scanning the right kidney and you're going through and you're coming from an anterior posterior approach, you can still get this um, whether you're coming in coronally or if you're coming in sagittally um, anterior to posterior, you'll still get that nice little C cut. But um, so with it, again, you wanna see the hilum and if you're doing the right kidney and you're coming through an uh, an anterior to posterior approach, you'll see the hilum towards the patient's left. And again, that makes sense if you're scanning the right kidney, the hilum is gonna be towards the medial aspect. So if you're scanning the left kidney, um, the hilum will be towards the right of the patient. So again, they're gonna meet right in the middle. Um, you'll have the convex borders on the outside and then the hilum will be towards the medial portion of the body. And then, I'll get this out. And then superior transverse or inferior transverse cut. And again, it's gonna look very, very similar to superior transverse cut. Um, it just depends on how the sinus lays, but again, cortex should surround the entire outside, um, and then a little bit piece of sinus in the middle. And then finally, our most inferior portion cut, we're gonna have mostly cortex. It's gonna be a lot rounder. You can see in the shape, it's gonna be a lot rounder. And then you'll have just a little bit of sinus in the middle. So I'm gonna do a drawn out aspect as well, but hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.